Hey guys, what's up? Sam the Photographer here, and today I want to talk about the brand new iPhone 7 slash 7 Plus cameras. Um, there's been a lot of rave about them, how they've been like stepping up in the photography world and you know, they have all these new specs that the old ones didn't have before. And image stabilization, um, higher megapixel count, so on and so forth. So I just kind of want to dive into this and give like my two cents on it, what I think about it and if it's worth the upgrade or not, and if it's worth your time as a photographer if you want to get credit with it. So here we go. So the iPhone 7 is coming at you with 12 megapixels, and that's with a 1.8 f-stop of a lens, and it also comes with IS. And if you don't know what IS is, that's image stabilization. Pretty much what IS is in the short term, it's just mechanics in the camera, or in the lens actually, that reduces handshake. So with an aperture so low as a 1.8 with IS, so you'll be able to capture better shots in low light or able to use a slower shutter in low light. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, it, like, in short, like, it's a low light beast in a way. It can shoot in RAW, that's pretty cool. So, it can shoot in RAW and it shoots it out as a DNG format. Me personally, I don't think a lot of people. What do you mean, you people? When I say a lot of people, I mean kind of regular shooters. So not photographers, not creators, or anything like that. They're not going to know really what to do with it. I'm kind of doubting a huge population that aren't photographers aren't even going to know what RAW is. They're going to look at it, maybe notice that RAW files are eating up a bunch of their memory and be like, well, why am I shooting RAW? That's kind of stupid. Um, so for, for us, the photographers, the creators, you know, obviously we can do so much with RAW format. So it's, it's good for the small percentage of us for the majority population that just want to just take photos or just hit selfies, it might not be that big of a thing. Wasted technology, perhaps you can argue that. Me, I think that's cool, but I'm not stoked on it. I think Apple maybe could have done, I don't know, maybe like a super fine JPEG just so to put the idea in the shooter's head. That way you're not introducing raw format to someone who really doesn't even care about photography. But where this, where all these like cool new features comes in, pretty much it's just a better opportunity for everyday users to get better photos. And it's just simple as just a click of a button. It's definitely more user friendly driven, which is cool. But I think maybe iPhone put too much bells and whistles into this for people who aren't really even going to know what the hell's going on. And also for people that aren't photographers, they're just maybe noticing that their iPhone 7 or their iPhone 7 Plus is capturing some really dope pictures that might actually draw them into actually getting a camera. It's, it's a good gateway for people to actually get into photography. But the only difference is, is that if they are gonna get into photography and they are gonna buy a camera, shooting with the actual camera versus your phone is totally different, so they might be lost. So it could be a good and bad thing. If they wanna take the time to learn photography, of course they can just hop on YouTube or something like that and learn from all the creators, learn from photographers that have been doing it, learn from photographers that will teach you, such as myself, how to shoot, how to go from shooting iPhones or shooting your camera and transferring what you know off that into an actual DSLR. So that's what we're here for. Um, so hopefully if you are a new shooter coming from iPhone to DSLR, just YouTube us, we'll teach you how. So with the 1.8 lenses, what they're promoting like iPhone is the ability to shoot bokeh or to be able to control your depth of field. So you'll be able to pull out of focus and defocus your image. Um, that could be pretty cool. Um, then again, you know, if someone is gonna try to jump from shooting smartphone to DSLR, it's gonna be kind of hard for them to kind of pick up what they learn because Everything is just so simple. Everything is just a click of a button, maybe like a little drag of a finger, and bam, they got the, the result that they're looking for. So, I mean, those, those are all pretty cool. The iPhone 7 Plus comes with two 12 megapixel sensors. You have a wide angle, you got a 56 millimeter, so that's pretty cool. That way you're not using a digital zoom to get the shot that you want. You're actually using a separate lens. So pretty much that's gonna get you a clear shot if you're trying to like zoom in on a little bit, that 56 millimeter is gonna take you a long way. So you'll get a clear shot without having that artificial digital zoom. Um, you'll be able to zoom right up on it. And also it comes with a two times optical zoom. So you have, you'll be able to stretch it out even further without using digital zoom. But if you wanna use digital zoom, they have it all the way to 10 times digital zoom. So you can get really up in there um, I'm sure once when you hit like 10 digital zoom or 
eight times digital zoom, it's gonna start to look maybe a little too pixelated at some point, or maybe a little too digital, if you know what I mean, and not so much crisp. Is it cool? Yes, of course it's cool. For me, I can find myself doing a lot with these new features. Then again, maybe new iPhone users may not care. If they do, they're just gonna use it for just simple things and they don't wanna like really dive into it. All they want is a good photo that they can easily get, which makes sense. I just think that people are just gonna get just cool shots, just how they normally been doing with their regular iPhones. Um, it's coming also with a seven megapixel front camera. So I mean, your selfie's about to be on fleek. Your Snapchat game's probably gonna be hella strong. Sorry, I had to fix my situation real quick. That sun was hella crazy. Would I get the phone? Probably not. Um, I super dig what my 6 Plus can do. Whenever I am out and about or, or if I am doing a shoot or something like that, I normally have my Canon G7X with me. And that camera does come with the Wi-Fi compatibility. So I'm able to drop whatever my Canon G7X gets to my phone. So this phone, probably not for me. If I can get it at a discount price, yeah, why not? All right, I think this phone can interest a lot of new photographers into actually getting a DSLR. Um, other than that, I, I see honestly a lot of this new technology going to waste. However, if you do want to get more interested in photography, there is no better way to start, in my opinion, than the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 Plus. And then when you do go ahead and go buy your DSLR, hop on YouTube and we'll teach you how to do the rest. Anything that you learned off the new iPhone can be translated into a DSLR. So you know how to do it on a professional camera. So anyway, that is my take on the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus. You guys already know what it is. You can find me on the tube, find me on the gram, find me on the book so you know where to look. I am Sam the Photographer and we'll just do this again another day. Is that cool with you? That's cool with me. All right, peace guys. sun right now which is terrible shit um let's see that doesn't that's not really any help <laughs>